And as a result of confidence in the banking system getting pulled, what we saw in the fourth quarter of last year, a run on the banks. It wasn't a run on the deposits, because remember, the deposits are guaranteed by the US government, and depositors didn't pull their money out. They didn't pull their money out in 1990 either. They kept their money in. But the problem this time around is the banks had re restructured their balance sheets so that they were funding their incremental growth with debt. And you could have a run on debt because debt was not guaranteed by the US government. You did get a run on debt. And the second problem that occurred was that the banks, because they were trying to maximize the return on their investments, stopped holding cash, stopped holding securities backed by the United States government, and, and decided to hold securities that were basically uh, AAA rated or asset backed securities that were privately guaranteed, not government guaranteed. The net effect is when the run on the debt occurred, these banks couldn't sell these assets. There was no market for them. And if they did sell them, they were getting 20 cents on the dollar, so they weren't generating enough funds in order to you know, pay off the run on the debt. All right, the third problem that existed was they, they couldn't utilize their loan portfolio to stop the run because they had downgraded the quality of the loan portfolio by issuing a large amount of these negative amortization loans and a large amount of these payment in kind loans to businesses, which you don't hear quite, quite as much about, but there is much of a problem. So, so the net effect is we had a situation when the Congress stepped back and looked at it, they said, too much debt in the banks caused this problem. Too much, uh, if you will, not too much, but too little liquidity. Too much bad lending uh, because of the, the, the weak products that they, that they put out. And fraud and, and, and mismanagement. 